Tesla executives are being more vocal on X. In recent months, Tesla CEO Elon Musk has been far from the only person at the company using the X platform regularly to spread information about its products. Amidst calls for Tesla to advertise, the use of X from both executives and other employees has increased substantially in the past few months. Not unlike how Musk has used the platform over the years. Beginning around when the Cybertruck was released in November, executives and engineers from the company began sharing information about the pickup, and that has continued steadily since. Executives have also increasingly spoken directly to people on X about that and other subjects. Sharing details about the company's products and responding to some when they raise questions. Tesla launches advertising on X in the US, expanding small-scale strategy outlined by Musk. Around the launch of the Cybertruck, Tesla employees who received early copies of the vehicle started posting about them regularly. Noting specific details about the vehicles and often responding to users in the threads that followed. This played a seemingly key role in marketing the truck and bringing awareness of it to the public, while helping to spread correct information about them. Below is a post made by Cybertruck lead engineer Wes Morrill in December, featuring his dog and talking about the vehicle's rear seats at a time when little was known about the pickup. Tesla executives have also been more vocal, both on X and in more regular media appearances, including people like design lead Franz von Holzhausen, Vice President of Vehicle Engineering Lars Moravi, and Vice President of Investor Relations Martin Vietcha, among others still. These executives have, once again, been focused on educating the public about Tesla's products, answering customer questions and responding to inaccuracies. Discussions have ranged from those on the Cybertruck and the upgraded Model 3 to the Optimus robot, the full self-driving FSD beta and more. Tesla Vice President of Public Policy and Business Development, Rohan Patel, has regularly been sharing information about the company's products and ongoing plans for the past few months. As a recent example from last week, Patel responded directly to inquiries about when Tesla's FSD beta would become available as a subscription in Canada, saying it was being worked on and would likely be in the coming weeks. Elon approved this Canada update and the team is working on the technical and regulatory procedures to make sure we don't trigger any unintended provincial issues. Another example includes Tesla Director of Product Design Javier Verdura who recently pointed out that the Cybertruck tent camper wasn't fully set up in photos from one publication, making it look worse than when it's set up properly. The picture shown in the Electrek article is not properly nor fully set up. They literally posted the worst possible picture they could find. When set up properly, the tent looks great. While CEO Elon Musk hasn't slowed down in his posting habits, many of them are not about Tesla. SpaceX or his other companies these days, instead being about politics. Still, looking at Musk's Twitter history, it isn't hard to see how often he was using the platform to spread news and information about Tesla and SpaceX. All the way back to his early tweets in 2011 and 2012, and this approach seems to be similar to what many at Tesla are now following him into. In 2022, Visual Capitalist published an article mapping out all of Musk's tweets between 2012 and 2021, with the vast majority of them being related to Tesla and SpaceX. The piece also lays out the growth of Musk's follower count during that time, which stands at 175.9 million at the time of writing, up from about 65 million when the article was published. Source reposted and summarized from Zachary Visconti at Teslarati.